Shalom, beloved. This word is for somebody. Somebody who the Most High Yah is calling you to do a mighty work. But you don't think yourself worthy. You don't think yourself good enough. I've had this conversation with others before. I can't even remember if I put it on video or if it was face to face, but this conversation this morning is to confirm to somebody, a brother, a sister, both, that Yah is calling you. He wants to use you to do a work. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 27 But Yah has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And Yah hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. You wonder why you were chosen. But the word tells us why. Yah has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Yah has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. That's why he chose you. That's why, so that he could show his power. It's not by power or by might, but by the spirit of the Most High. Somebody, Yah wants to use you. He wants to use you. And it is in your weakness that his strength will come through. It is in the fact that you feel so foolish, so unlearned in comparison to others of the world. He wants to confound the wise and use you to show he is no respecter of persons. Yah will use anybody he chooses to. We're going to look at two parallel stories in the book of John. We're going to look at Nicodemus, who Yeshua spoke to, and the woman at the well. Nicodemus and the woman at the well. Nicodemus was a Pharisee, a ruler of the Hebrews. But he came to Yeshua by night. By night. All right? And said to him, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest. Except Yah be with him. Yeshua answered him. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of Yah. Nicodemus set up on a Sanhedrin. He was a Pharisee. He wouldn't go and see Yeshua openly by day and speak to him. He came through the cover of night. Mm -hmm. As we go down in chapter 3, book of John, Nicodemus is talking to him. After Yeshua told him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of Yah. Nicodemus answers, how can these things be? Yeshua answered and said unto him, Art thou a master of Yasharel, and know not these things? Hmm? Comes by night. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, we speak that we know, that we do know, and testify that we have seen, and ye receive not our witness. 
He's talking to Nicodemus, who sat on the Sanhedrin High Council. He was a Pharisee, but Nicodemus wanted to talk to him. And he came in the cover of night that he be not seen. Mm. Come on now. If I have told you earthly things and you believe not, how shall ye believe if I tell you of the heavenly things? He's talking to Nicodemus. Nicodemus is having a problem understanding what he's talking about. All right? Now, chapter 4. He's talking to the woman at the well. He's talking to the woman. We're in John chapter 4, starting at the fifth verse. Then cometh he to a city of Samaria, which is called Sychar, near the parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Okay. Let's, let's, let's look at Samaria just a little bit. Samaria was a place of refuge for all outlaws of Judea. You find that in the book of Joshua, chapter 20. The Samaritans willingly received U.S. criminals and refugees from, and refugees, the, violated, the violators of Hebrew laws and those who had been excommunicated found safety in Samaria. The Samaritans received the five books of Moses and rejected the writings of the prophet and of all the Jewish traditions. But this, we're going to talk about the woman of the well. Okay? The woman of the well. When, therefore, we're in the book of John, chapter 4, starting... At the fifth verse, book of John chapter 4, this is after Nicodemus comes to him at night. And he must needs go through Samaria, then cometh he to a city of Samaria, which is called Sychar, near the part of the that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Now Jacob's well was there. Yeshua therefore, being wearied with his journey, set thus on the well. And it was about the sixth hour. Then cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. Yeshua saith unto her, Give me to drink. For his disciples had gone away into the city to buy meat. Then saith the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou, being a Hebrew, ask drink of me? Which am a woman of Samaria. She knew. You... People have nothing to do with us. And you as drink of me? Remember line upon line, precept upon precept. Yah is, is a respecter of no one. He does not respect anyone when he wants his word to go forth. He's not a respecter of person. For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. The Hebrews have no dealings with the Samaritans. Yeshua answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of Yah, and who it is that saith to thee, Give me to drink, thou would have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. Mm. The woman said unto him, Sir, Thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence then hast thou that living water? Art thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well, and drank thereof himself and his children and his cattle? Yeshua answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water, the water from the well, 
shall thirst again. Mm. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Mm. Mm. The spirit. The spirit. Mm. The woman said unto him, Sir, give me this water that I thirst not, neither come hither to draw. Yeshua said unto her, Go, call thy husband, and come hither. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Yeshua said unto her, Thou hast well said that I have no husband. For thou hast had five husbands, and he whom thou now hast is not thy husband. In that sayest thou truly. You're speaking the truth, he's telling. Mm. The woman said unto him, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. Our fathers worshipped in this mountain, and ye say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. See, they're debating where people should go, but that's for another day. Yeshua said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Ye worship ye know not what. Ye know what we, we know what we worship, for salvation is of the Hebrew. Hmm. But the hour cometh and now is. When the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. Yah is spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Somebody. Yah is talking. You can do a mighty work. Remember, not my will, not your will. His will be done. He's calling you, but you don't feel worthy. Why would you talk to me? Don't you know who I am? Like the woman at the well. Hmm? The woman said unto him, I know that the Messiah cometh, which is called Christ. When he comes, he will tell us all things. Yeshua said unto him, her, Yeshua said unto her, I that speak unto thee am he. And upon this came his disciples and marveled that he talked with the woman. Ooh. See, many think, no, not that. They're not good enough. We don't have anything to do with them. Yah is calling somebody. This is confirmation. He's calling you to do a mighty work. He is a respecter of no one. Hmm. He'll make the rocks cry out to get that message of his salvation, his saving word out. But there's a rock by you. Don't let that rock do what he's calling you to do. He take the weak things of the world to confound the mighty. He takes the, the foolish things to confound the wise. He's calling something. This is this this is for he, he's calling you, yes he is, to do a mighty work. Hmm. Woo. And upon this came his disciples and marveled that he talked with the woman, yet no man said, What seekest thou or why talkest thou with her? They marveled. The woman then left her water pot and went her way into the city. And saith to the men, come, come, come. Why did she say to the men? Because the women would have nothing to do with her. She's at the well, the well where normally the women gather together to commune and talk. And She's alone. She's had five husbands and the man she's living with is not her husband. Mm, mm. He'll use anybody. Anybody, anybody, all have sinned, remember, and come short. All of us have sinned. So judge not lest ye be judged, beloved. Mm. 
come. This is the woman talking. Come, see a man which told me all things that I ever did. Is not this the Hamashiach, the Christ? Then they went out of the city and came unto him. In the meanwhile, his disciples prayed him, saying, Master, eat. I'm going to go down, beloved. I'm in chapter 4, book of John. Book of John. I'm going to verse 39. Mm. And many of the Samaritans of that city believed on him for the saying of the woman, which testified, he told me all, faith, all that I ever did. So when the Samaritans would come unto him, they besought him that he would tarry with them. And he abode there. He stayed two days. Mm. He took that fallen woman, that rejected woman, that woman set apart that other women wouldn't have anything to do with. He took her and transformed her. In the eyes of many, she was rejected of the Hebrews because she wasn't from Samaria. And even in Samaria, she was rejected of the women. Hmm? She living with a man he's not of. Look at her. He used the foolish things, the weak things, to confound the wise and mighty. <clears throat> he took this fallen woman and turned her into an evangelist. He took a fallen woman and turned her into an evangelist and believing what happened, what happened, oh, nah. <laughs> and many of the Samaritans of that city believed on him for the saying of the woman, mm. which testified, she testified, she, she testified, he told me all that I ever did, he's calling somebody. <laughs> there's a man, there's a woman. It's time to testify about all that he did. It's time to testify. She testified. Mm. So when the Samaritans would come unto him, they besought him that he would tarry, stay with us. And he abode there two days. And many more believed because of his own word. Mm. And said unto the woman, I'm in the book of John chapter 4, and said unto the woman, Now we believe not because of thy saying, for we have heard him for ourselves, and know that this indeed is the Christ, the Hamashiach of the world. Mm, mm, mm. Remember that, Nicodemus on the Sahendrin of Pharisee. He talked to him by night. He didn't want to be rejected of men. Mm -hmm. What happened with Nicodemus? Mm. When was Nicodemus willing to show his faith for Yeshua? We are in the book of John chapter 3. Starting at the 38th verse. And after this, Joseph of Arimathea, being a disciple of Yeshua, but secretly for fear of the Hebrews, besought Pilate that he might take away the body of Yeshua. And Pilate gave him leave. He gave him permission. He came, therefore, and took the body of Yeshua. And there came also Nicodemus. Mm. Now, Nicodemus is there. Book of John, chapter 3, I'm at the 39th verse. And there came also Nicodemus, which at the first came to Yeshua by night. Mm. And brought a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about a hundred pound weight. Then they took the body of Yeshua and wound it in linen cloths with spices, as the manner of the Hebrews is to bury. Mm. Mm. Brothers, 
sisters, beloved. Somebody. Don't let what man thinks of you hinder you from hearing the voice of Yah. He's he's calling you. You you are the spirit of the woman at the well. Be ye a man or a woman. You are the spirit of that woman at the well. And just by telling his story and draw all men unto thee, when you lift up Yeshua, you draw all men unto thee. This is your confirmation. He's calling you. Why would he call me? I don't feel good enough out of this, out of that. I ain't smart enough. I'm not. I don't. I don't. I can't. He who. Hmm. His will, not our will. Let the decrease. Let your spirit decrease so that his spirit can fill you up with the true increase. Mm, mm, mm. Let me tell you something. One word. From the spirit has more power, more abundant life giving power than all the words of the world combined. Why? Because it has spiritual abundance, it has growth and empowerment. And beloved, before I go, let me tell you again First Corinthians chapter 1, verse 27. But Yah has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. That's why he chose you. And Yah has chosen the weak things of the world to confound those things which are mighty. You feel weak. You feel inept. But he chose you like the woman at the well. That transformative power. Be ye not conformed to the world, but transformed. He's transforming somebody as we speak, as I speak. Receive this word, beloved. This is for somebody. He's choosing you. Your spirit is at that well. And where other people, just like the woman at the well, you speaking to me? I'm from Samaria, a oh, woman. Double hit, double negative as far as she's concerned. But here's a woman considered fallen in the eyes of men. Mm. Even his own disciples marvel that he spoke to her. He's a respecter of no one. Mm. His word went out, did not come back void. She saved a city. She became an evangelist. This word's for you, beloved. He's calling you to do a mighty work. Be encouraged. Shalom.